is affected, it affects the whole body. Amen. So, as I'm standing here, if my toe is cut, see how I'll be suffering where I am. Or even if they put something, uh, a ligament or something, if you just pull a ligament on just your hip, you see the way it will affect every part of your body. You'll be suffering in the same way that is how the church is. If one member of us is suffering, all of us are suffering. If one member is promoted and they are happy, all of us should be happy with them. Hallelujah. Because we are a body. The second one says, the church is therefore not just a mere social gathering. So when we gather, we know, but it's just a reminder, as I said, we are learning about this. It is not a, just a mere social gathering. And therefore, whatever we do here, we must do it to glorify God. Amen. So we may not be able to pass certain comments in the presence of God. Years ago, when we were in uh, Elim, I talked about the church, the tabernacle that God built, uh, instructed the Israelites to build, and how even the Jews, who were not Levites, were not allowed into even the courts, like where we are sitting here. And we were very far off in our African villages, and we wouldn't, were not far of it at all. Hallelujah. And more so, us coming to the Holy of Holies. Because if you look at the temple arrangement, that would have been the Holy of Holies, the innermost court. Who are we? So when we come, we should not just look at the building, but we should know that we have come before God, and we are in his presence. Hallelujah. And uh, we thank God that through the blood, the death of Jesus Christ again, as he says, he purchased by his blood. The curtain that was separated, this curtain has been separated very nicely for us, that was torn from top to down and gave us access. Not only the elders, but all of us. Amen. And uh, our, our pastor, we are feeling to say, every high priest is selected among the people. So you have also become um, highly exalted that you can be chosen from God. Like, so he says, but it is a family of saints. So can you say family of saints? So we are family of saints. And it says, being trained and equipped until we attain the measure and stature of the fullness of Christ. And if you want to have a Bible verse reference, it's Ephesians chapter 4 and the verse 13. Ephesians chapter 4. If you read just a little, our Bible talks about the uh, fivefold ministry, the offices of teachers, prophets, pastors, evangelists. And after that, he is telling us that they have been given so that the church will be trained and equipped to declare the glory of God. Amen. And so that is where we are until we have been trained, we have been equipped, and then we will be ready to be glorified. Hallelujah. The training makes us more sanctified to be like Jesus. And then, when we have been sanctified, we can be glorified and spend eternity with our Lord Jesus Christ in heaven. We attain that fullness. Amen. And uh, so the church, we have an example of the early church. What did the early church did? So I think Acts chapter 2 and the verse 42 going, when you read just a few verses, it gives us an example of what the church actually, uh, this Bible is very old, so don't mind me. So, Acts chapter 2, verse 42, it says, They devoted themselves to the apostles' teachings and to fellowship and to breaking of bread and to prayer. Hallelujah. And so, as a church, the early church gave an example, they devoted themselves to what? The apostles' teachings 
Some translation says the apostles' doctrine. And so at the time, the apostles' doctrine, we didn't have the Old and New Testament. As at the time, they were, they were writing. So the apostles' doctrine were the Old Testament and the instructions that we have received from the Lord Jesus Christ himself, which now we have as Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. And we will say Acts because Luke also wrote the book of Acts. So the apostles' doctrines, they devoted themselves to the study of the word of God. They did not depart from that. And also they said they also have fellowship. They had fellowship. And fellowship is very, very important. When you look at the few words, it says, I like it so much. I so like friendship. And the Greek word for it is koinonia, which means doing things in common. Hallelujah. So they had fellowship. They were doing things in common. They were one in mind, one in attitude, one in everything that they were doing. And the result of that was miracles. Hallelujah. The result of that was miracles. And so we have an example. If we want miracles amongst us, we have to be one. One in mind, one in purpose. As a body, one, one part suffers, all of us suffer. And one, one part is glorified. And I want to bless God for what is happening uh, in our church, especially the church of uh, Pentecost Edinburgh Assembly. We are a family. And uh, the family bond still continues to grow. Praise the Lord. And we bless God for this spirit that he just uh, gave to us, our pastor, Stephen, uh, Pine, the third, very new family. And it is a family. And when one part, one member is down, see how the leaders work behind the scene, and even some members work behind the scene, and we try to lift ourselves up. May the Lord increase that bond of unity amongst us, so that when anybody comes, they will feel at home that indeed we are a family. And then we will declare the goodness of the Lord. They also had ministry. It's related to breaking of bread, related to the fellowship. And someone said, if God created us Christians only to be effective when we have relationship with one another, God created us Christians to be only effective or functional only when we have good relationship with one another. It's just a very uh, uh, apocalyptic term. If you just break it down, you understand it very well. So it means that if I am a Christian I'm an elder and I'm, I'm not talking to my fellow Christians, I'm not, God did not create me for that, and I'm not functioning. I am out of functioning. We understand that. And so if we are together, then that is the purpose of God for us, that we should relate with one another cordially, effectively. Uh, I'll go back to that. And he also talked about prayer, worship and prayer. We come and we lift all our voices together and pray together, and the results will be miracles that will come through us. So now, so the church, the following guidelines are therefore intended to help us uh, walk worthy of our calling as children of God. And so I am going to uh, read the first one. So the first one, practice. Or the conduct is that set aside a period daily for personal quiet time. So we should daily, we should. That what, what is going, going on, everybody, everybody is having their Bible at this time. And it is very, very important as believers, where we are, there are so many things that can go on. 
and that may happen that we will not have time for that. But Jesus Christ, our Lord himself, Bible says early in the morning that he will go into a solitary place. Then when he goes there, he goes and waits on his father and receives strength before he goes out. And so before we go out, we have to wait on the Lord. Read your Bible. Meditate on the scripture and pray before we land out. Amen. So it is one of the rules of conduct of members. I will share it. So the Bible references that we have here is Matthew chapter 6 and the verse 6. And also Ephesians chapter 6 verse 18 to 20. So you can write it down about, as I said, I will share it on the platform. The second one is always endeavor to adequately prepare yourself through prayer and meditation before coming to the house of God. And I was just looking through the text and I said, what is adequate preparation? He said, adequately prepare before you come to church, the house of God. So what is adequate preparation? The adequate preparation may depend on how you want to connect with God yourself before you come to church, by imagining prayer here. If you remember, uh, and I will say those of us who grew up a little bit in Ghana, on Sundays, where you are, even unbelievers, what do you hear around you? Sunday, I'm a papa. I'm a pastor, I'm a pastor, I'm a pastor, I'm a pastor, I'm uh, also, uh, pastor, uh, uh, the uh, older ladies singing and then praising or pastor So before you go to church, you are already in the spirit and you are already charged to be in the house of God. Hallelujah. And so that is also something that we have to. Uh, do Hebrews chapter 4 and um, 15 to um, 16. Uh, we have to read some of the scriptures. So please can we read that and see what Hebrews chapter 4, 15 to 16. Mm, I think that is this approach that will not raise. Because when, when we pray, God hears us. And so as we are going, we are coming to God. And therefore, if we prepare ourselves, is someone there? Hebrews chapter Amen. It was very, very clear. We do not have a high priest who has not gone through what we are going through. Jesus Christ was God, but he came to earth as man. And as man, he lived all the life that we are living. Not all of it is written in Scripture. Because when you are writing your essay, you write what will interest your, <laughs> your readers. So Jesus Christ playing with his friends and he, him being kicked will not be written here. Or doing something in the house and the mom uh, telling him to stop will not be written here. But he has gone through all the challenges and I miss that he has also suffered the greatest suffering that none of us have gone through yet. Dying on the cross, the crucifixion. Very, very cruel experience, but he did not sin. Hallelujah. And therefore, he said that he also empathizes with that. He is in heaven interceding for us. So let us therefore approach the throne of grace. When we are coming, let us approach confidently, praying 
that whatever we are desiring, whatever we are asking, God will do it for us. Amen. Next one says, be in your seats in good time before the commencement of service. Participate fully in every aspect of the church. Hallelujah. And I am feeling guilty here. Are you also feeling the same? Be in your seats before the commencement of service. And the second part is to participate fully. Fully in all aspects of the service. So when we come and we are late as well, we don't distract. Here we don't have that so much. When we have uh, big churches, when you go, people go. And immediately you go, you sit down, and you are in the spirit. You are praying, especially for communion Sundays. And then you are praying. You are focusing on God. You are thinking about the word of God because this is the house of God. And whatever we are doing to, let us participate fully. Amen. And then you see what we're saying. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And they can Frank has also been saying, you don't have a desire to go there. You don't have a desire to go there. Hallelujah. Yes, <laughs> The joy of the Lord is my strength. <laughs> Hallelujah. The environment I win a polarized, very, very corrupt. Ah, and of four at the name of the M. Father, a Ragim, or no prayer, Saint and I get a rest of home. Good example to them. We are Papa, who feel now we are with it, Basabasa. 
by D. In the human echo, you are not setting good examples for them. We are mamma of feeling mood, Cassa, Passabasa, and also Orcho. And that is by D. And if you think I'm not sitting in Rome, the only assets we can give to our children. Hallelujah. It will be like a foundation and it will be a property, something and assets in their lives. Which they can use to deal with, with all challenges. Ah, a beba. And we are set on some of you be brave, set your own sign on. Because they don't have the word of God. So to them, if there is problem, that problem is all that I have. I don't have anything to it. I am willing to say, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, God is with me. Into bedding way out or call me far and brown and say, and rather come in home and rules, and rule. I brought me there, but okay, there. If I have come down in a particular standard that I set for myself, I know if I rise up, God is going to let me up again. In the way, put on a bit in your eye, a fapim, a young one, pa, owns me, and child, and I mean to me, you know. That, that is, is the only thing, thing we have to do. And it is not easy. And so, so let, let us back, back that up by prayer and also by deed. And by you to my income. Bring them to the house of God. Um, and then supervise and monitor the active participation of your children in Sunday school. And also, you feel guilty. Parents in whatever Sunday school bar. On ground, I can't tell you that there is a day that I'm going so we should also be interested in what is happening in Sunday school. Amen. And the parents and that for us, we need to be better in Sunday school. I'm praying in operation. You can do that and go and learn. So that you all do it together. It is not only our children, but tell everyone that we have to also do that for all our relatives. Relatives, people who are living with us, and even our slaves. It is the our slaves know you too, Abraham, as an example. In Genesis chapter 18, verse 19, and Amun Musa, Abraham, the chief slave of Abraham, the liars of Damascus. In the Osman, Song of Pere, Emre, Isaac, no? what did he do? Because he has stayed in his master's house and he has been parted, he had to pray. He was, was a slave in the house. And, and so it is not only our children that we have to help them know the God that we are serving, but we are company and poor and poor and poor. I'm not going to make it a decision. I'm not going to make it a decision. Yeah, yeah, in the interview, I'm not going to make it a decision. I'm not going to make it a decision. And see, all the Muslims with us, every morning they come. Yeah, they come just sit down. And then they close and they go. So when it's here and fun, you must take pass in that. So for four years, we now on to yes, on betting and yes, and because, and yet, at the morning, and the day, so we move, and we have to ask them, and the day, so we can, second Timothy chapter, one verse five of the Apostle Paul, and so or high Timothy, in the church, ne na na, and then ma mo de ma no, ay no, ana ay ija, eti ni mu, hallelujah. The day na na rich is na ha, oh ma praise the dead, na 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 sa, eti ni radias, pero ni radio di 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 mo mo, ahoye, nasa ni radio be, no di ako kain so hallelujah. All of us have been in the house of the Lord to attain the full stage of the measure of Jesus Christ in us. Amen. Yeah, at first, you know, yeah, yeah, pastor. 
the rules and conduct of members. Take the pastor as your friend. Who knows the pastor's telephone number? And pastor and my mom are part of not many of us. And they're guilty. When I was being interviewed as a deacon, sir, now we are not being the pastor number. But we have to. Hallelujah. We have to take the pastor as our friend. Ohia yempai bo. Ohia yempai bo ba. Ephesians chapter six and verse sixteen. Kafokono. Kekano. Ephesians six eighteen to eighteen. Paul can say, "Pray also for me." Kajuma na e e yomuma kajuma. There are so many other the pastor is also a human being like us. They also have their human self. In the top area, they also go through challenges and difficulties. In the where we stand together and pray so that God will help them. What he was asking the church to pray for him was that words may be given him. Say, so take the pastor as your personal friend. He needs your compassion, help, and advice as you also need his. Pray for him always. Bible scriptures now, Hebrews chapter 13, verse 17. Hebrews chapter 13, verse 17. Make the church your spiritual home. In the Senate of Confess, no, Yaba, I will enter his gate with thanksgiving. I will enter his call to praise. In the Radi, if he and Yaba, the Yaba, you will see a bad Radi, if he, Sabreno, nay, the high priest, the pet, and Utmi Baha, or Bounce of Ban once a year. Now, Master, I'm just saying, ah, Rabbi, if you. Praise the Lord. Every year, Amen. Whenever as believers to go through difficulties and challenges and we call on him, he comes on us again. The spirit of him, he revives us again. Nine <laughs> Let us make the church our spiritual home. Love the brethren. 
and brotherly affection, if you are able, contribute to the needs of the saints. Amen. During casual conversations at home, do not speak disrespectfully or disparagingly about the church and God's servants. Make your concerns and grievances known to the appropriate authorities for explanation or redress. And see, sometimes, but when you are discussing things about the church, let us be careful. Hallelujah. We are, when we are discussing things about the church, let us be careful. Most is Romani and Miriam, many are Romani and Miriam. And especially in the presence of our children, Yaya Yomo Frano, Na Yafa Edano Esu, Edano Sebiya Rosa Oso Fati, Edano Podesa Nyahyo, Edano Deo Kanyari, Edano Wafa Wei, Na Wei Kwa Ten, especially in Christian, Yaya Kama Masa Mi Wesi, because let us be careful. John. Tell John, a friend say, or be any friend say, a friend Tell John, tell John nine, if you want to or nine, let me why you will say, not seven or ten. Obia, why ya must have forced us to never say, Pedrati what <laughs> Amen. Mm. Mm. Amen. Na in Casa Casa, and then I hear a Kutia, and then I'm a Yamaka, and then I'm a Yamasa and also Yakahumi. Amen. Endeavor to study the Bible diligently on your own. Did you have a Yamasa? And I'm proud of you, lucky. First, na usually I'm a Yamasa Mopabo, and I am a reference to it. Now, reference There are so many devotional tests, so many, uh, friends, uh, commentaries. Bible commentaries. Oh, 
Praise God. Hallelujah. Offering time. Offering time. Offering time. Amen. It's time for offering. So shall we call our dear sister um, Rachel to come and lead us again? So the first bowl is the national, and the, the second bowl will be for the local offering. Amen. Shall I say unto the Lord, oh, I have to say thank you, Lord. Amen. 
Amen. Jehovah God, we just want to thank you this afternoon, God, for your blessings upon our lives. Father God, Bible says that it's your blessing that makes a one rich. Indeed, you have blessed us. We've got some to, eat, to give to us your word. We pray that, Lord, you will bless it in the mighty name of Jesus. And also bless us, cause us to multiply into our lives so that next time when we meet again, we get some to give to us your word again. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise, Praise the, the Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. God bless you for coming to church today. God willing, we are meeting the same time next week, the same place. So kindly take note of this. Then God willing, on Tuesday in the morning, there will be area prayer and teaching service at 11 a.m. in the morning. So please, if you are home, you are not going to work and you can join, kindly join. Then in the evening at 7 30 p.m., we are all coming here to study the word of God. Last week, when I came here, I met with one person. So it was God the Father and God the Son. Holy Spirit did not come. Please, the meeting service is for all of us, it's not just for a couple of us. So please. Try as much as possible to come and study the word of God. Amen. On Wednesday, the morning devotion at 6 a.m. So please, if you're able to wake up and kindly join the district morning devotion platform. Then in the morning at 11 a.m., the district prayer clinic. So please, if you're also home on Wednesday in the morning, try as much as possible to join in and pray. Even as we have learned today, we are supposed to be praying and be taught the word of God. So if you have any opportunity to pray, please take advantage of it. Do not wait until you have problems. Then you draw close to God. And God will also tarry. Amen. Then on Thursday, the prayer force will be meeting at 7 p.m. If you want to join the prayer force, kindly speak to Elder Marvel and you will add your name to the team. The book for the month is Colossians. As I said last week, at the end of this month, we are going to review the book of the month. So if you have not read, you are going to know. I don't know if it's going to be the empty, but at least I'm going to everyone to give us a vocation for the book of the man to show that you have read it. And if somebody says it, you have to say another one. Amen. <laughs> so please, the book for the man is Colossians. Try as much as possible to read it. Also, the District Development Fund is still open. If you want to sow a seed into the fund, you can do so. The account to be posted. Yeah, but the is not working. Forgive us. We'll try and work it out next week. We we'll put the account online so you can pay your offering. The next week, we are taking an offering for Blanson Foundation. Maybe I think Oda will speak about it. But please, when you are coming next week, come prepared. We are going to give a special offering to the Lord. Amen. So come and give a special offering to bless the name of the Lord. I think these are the announcements I have for today. God bless you. Amen. Amen. So, at this point, what do you say to our dear elder for the wonderful word that he has given us this afternoon? Amen. Too soon, we are closing. So, um, please, shall we invite our dear sister, Esme, to give us a closing prayer? Then, um, the AC will bless us. Amen. We are praying. 
Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for blessing us with the word. We pray that we shall be hearers of the word. We shall not only be hearers, but also doers. And at the end, we shall give all the praise to your name. As we go home and begin your week, we pray that you, Lord, shall go with us. We commit our going out and our coming in into your hands. That you, Lord, shall soak us in your blood and mark us with the cross. Any form of evil against us shall not come to pass. And at the end, we will give all the praise and adoration to your name. As many other things we ask in your son's name, have we prayed with us, given. Amen. Praise God. 